Hi, this is King Butcher. Welcome to BDA Boxing, the Boxing Debate Arena. This is a quick video about uh, what's happening here with Shelly Finkel. He says that uh, this is uh, from SI Boxing. In a telephone interview, Wilder's co-manager Shelly Finkel acknowledged that a mediator informed Wilder's team that Fury was refusing to face him. The plan now, according to Finkel, is to take the case to arbitration. So... Let's just take a look at what happened. This is now. This is another article from the Zone from December the fourth. This is what this is what Bob Aram said. So the contract says Wilder's right ran out at the end of October, and I really believe that contract displayed clearly that Wilder does not have a claim for a third fight. Bob Aram goes on to say, Wilder had some surgery, but that was taken care of in the contract. A ninety-day delay from the date of the proposed rematch in July and that has run out so basically they even gave him some sort of extension because Wilder had an injury so basically Wilder never took that third fight never really pushed for it now that the contract expired they are they want the third fight Wilder's teams they want the third fight uh, I believe that Shelly Finkel just he just wants to get some money out of this thing and let's take a look at this now we go back to the SI boxing article this is Shelly Finkel speaking we are going to go for everything we can. <laughs> everything we can. Every dime. Every nickel and dime. I'm a realist with what I am up against. So he knows that he might lose. We have an agreement. Even if we didn't have an agreement. Okay, so he believes that they have an agreement. But even if we didn't have an agreement, we gave Fury two shots. So like basically they gave him a favor. They, right? He has made more money than he has ever seen. Deontay was very kind to him while he was going through his mental problems. Oh, God. Forget everything else. Morally, he should give him his shot. So now he's basically bringing up this morality thing. Like, like Fury's morally obligated to give Deontay Wilder a rematch. Like, this guy's not even serious about the whole thing. He knows he won't go anywhere with the mediation and the arbitration. He just wants to... We're going to go for everything we can, he says. Like, we're going to maybe, like, get a couple of... I think they're asking for a million, a few million dollars, like for basically a step aside. But he knows that he might not even get that. And you know why he knows that he might not even get that? Because he goes on to say, if we can't get the Fury fight, Deontay needs to be active. If it's the worst case scenario, we're going to be prepared to get him back in the ring. That's right. And rumors are that Deontay Wilder will be facing Charles Martin. <laughs> <laughs> bigger fight ahead there's a unification fight with Anthony Joshua it's not like Deontay Wilder it's not like Tyson Fury is avoiding Deontay Wilder to go fight a guy like Charles Martin I mean Fury is going for that unification fight and the contract with Deontay Wilder expired that third fight has expired so he has every right to go and unify against Anthony Joshua in the biggest fight in the heavyweight division and maybe one of the biggest uh, it might be the biggest fight in boxing right now. So, Shelly Finkel, get the hell out of here, man. And Deontay Wilder fans, you need to wake the hell up. This, this is what's happening. Shelly Finkel knows he might lose. He said, I'm a realist with what I am up against. That's right. He He's a realist about his chances of actually winning this thing. Anyways, guys, we will have a show tonight to discuss this in more depth. We'll see you there.